All right, guys, before this video starts, I do want to let give a content warning out there. I am playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring is indeed rated M for Mature 17 plus by the EFCRB. I want to let you guys know because Kingdom Studios prides itself on being a family friendly channel with videos that everyone can watch. That doesn't mean I don't want to dive into more mature games, and that is what I'm doing in this video. Viewer discretion is strongly advised as this game does contain violence, blood and gore, suggestive themes, language, violence, wait that's the Spanish. All those four things right there, that is why this game is rated what it is. Uh, you will not hear any coarse language or violent things from me personally, but this game does include that content and therefore I do want to strongly advise if you are of a younger age, please click off. Go watch some other con of my content. This video is not necessarily for you. Come back when you are older. But I just want to give a um, content warning out there. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello guys! Welcome back to the channel today. I'm very excited to be playing the 2022 Game of the Year Elden Ring. Now, you might be wondering, why such a tonal shift in games? I mean, the other day we were playing Mario Kart and... Other, and like Smash Brothers and stuff. Well, um, not only is it the 2022 game of the year and I wanted to celebrate, but also I enjoy this game. I really like this game. Uh, so I thought it would be fun. This is the hardest game I've literally ever played. And so I want to share my pain with you guys. Uh, if you saw my Mario Kart video, you'll know I'd like to share my pain. But before we uh, start the game, uh, I do want to say huge congratulations to everybody at From Software and Bandai Namco for making uh, Game of the Year this year. Uh, it is a huge honor and just want to spread the love to them because they obviously worked super hard to make this amazing game. And the other thing is if you guys did watch the Game Awards, you will know that after the development team for Elden Ring came up and accepted Game of the Year, there was a a certain person uh, went up with the development team and kind of bombed the award show, saying giving Game of the Year apparently to his Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton, you know the the President of the United States, Bill Clinton. So I thought, in honor of Bill Clinton, the Reformed Orthodox Rabbi. I am going to customize my character th to the best of my ability to look almost identical to Bill Clinton. So I hope you guys are ready for this journey. I'm so excited. I already went through my settings and adjusted everything uh, musically. So my voice should be balanced with the game audio, but yeah. Um, we are going to select a Vagabond, just like the basic. Type A, please. Alright, there he is. Uh, I am going to do a cut here so I can mess around with the settings, and we'll be right back. Okay, before that, I am going to add his name. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hilarious. Alright guys, I want to know what you think. Does this look like Bill Clinton? I think, based off the picture I was going off of, I think this is the closest I can get to him in Elden Ring, so... Right, start game with this character, is that okay? Let's go. Let's play Elden Ring as Bill Clinton. I think there might be a cutscene, so... If there is a cutscene at the beginning, oh, I'll shut up. Oh, there's a cutscene. Uh, I will be quiet and let the cutscene do its thing. Definitely very Lord of the Rings inspired, getting a lot of that vibe.
How long is this cutscene gonna be? I don't remember it being this long. Alright, well that took forever. Uh, I believe this is gameplay now. Should be. You're still in cutscene. This is in game though, so. I think that's me. I think that's Bill Clinton, President of the United States, and also Game of the Year winner. Uh, so I'm assuming the goal of this game is to rebuild the Elden Ring and then claim it and then become the Elden Lord. Um, if you didn't get that from that first cutscene, I don't blame you. It took me a minute to figure it out, but here we are. We are in game. There is Bill Clinton. Um, get a little familiar with the controls. I have played the starting area, I've played like the first three hours of the game, uh, so I don't know too much, but definitely dig in this sword we have. I'm thinking I should have gone with the Sam, or with the, uh, um, knight, but let's, uh, pillage these remains. Tarnished wizard's finger, ugh, gross. I'm not sure I'm down with that, but here's the door. Open the door. I'm getting some Breath of the Wild vibes. Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, this is a completely open world game. Uh, this starting area, I believe, is not. So, whatever happens here, honestly. Uh, looks like we can go over that big statue. Probably where we're supposed to go, knowing these games. But I'm just going to take out some of this crates check for items uh, get more familiar with the controls i've been playing too much kingdom hearts to remember the controls of this game but like when i sprint i crouch circle to sprint i am playing on playstation so circle or a for xboxers this game is not on switch so i don't have to worry about that but we are at this kind of spooky looking statue uh, I think there's a boss down there. Okay. Grafted. Oh my goodness. It's gonna. I wonder what happens if I, like, end up killing this thing in, like, the, the starting area. Which I probably won't. I'm sure they've designed it so that you can't kill it. Oh, there we go. Cutscene. <laughs> but, yeah. This game is tough. If you saw that first, like, minute I fought that boss, this is a tough game. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> See the little loading icon up, up there? Cutscene. Or in-game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore with these games. Oh, there he is. Our Bill Clinton. Get up. I don't think there's any dialogue, so would it be bad if I skipped? Oh no, there's a horse. I can't skip now, there's a horse. Ooh, who's on the horse? Oh, it's a... 
It's a woman. Oh boy. Huh. I don't remember this cutscene from when I started, but that could be because I skipped everything I wanted to get to the grueling gameplay. Yeah, I don't remember this. There we go. Already uh, a bunch of cutscenes in. Can we finally get to some gameplay? I mean, I'm all I'm all down for cutscenes. I like um, JRPGs, but like it's not as entertaining for you guys. Spooky in here, not gonna lie. Alright, here we go. Flask of Crimson Tears. This is what lets us heal. Okay. So I have played this. I will forgo the tutorial area just because I know how to play already. Uh, for you guys, if you're down for get playing this game, which you totally should, uh, you, can, you can do it, but I will forgo it for now. Probably a bad idea, but... Uh, you know, it's YouTube. I can do whatever I want. Really take this long to open doors. All right. Let's make it out of this cathedral. These are going to be our best friends. Touch Grace. Or Sights of Grace. Lost Grace. I don't know what they're called. Something with Grace. Oh, we'll rest here. All right. Cool, cool. Oh, uh, we can get something over here. Village remains. Ugh. Finger server. Blech. Tarnished, ugh, I don't want fingers. I wanna play the game, not fingers. Um, I forgot, do I slay that? Nope, don't keep the shield on, keep the shield on. We're supposed to do something with the switch. Oh, no, we, we stand here. Couple minutes in and I'm already getting confused. <laughs> but yeah. You can't really see our boy Bill Clinton's face underneath the mask, but it's there. All right, open the door. No, oh yeah, okay. And here it is, Limegrave, the beautiful world of Elden Ring. Very excited. We're going to get this grace right here so we don't end up respawning in the cathedral, tomb, wherever we were. I don't know. I play so many games. Uh, the map. Know how to use that. Hello. Uh, I made the grueling mistake of attacking this person when I first played. So I will not do that. Oh, maidenless. Oh, that hurts. Round table hold. I think that's where we're supposed to go. What? Obscurity? Would you? What? It, oh. Let me remind you who I am, you little. All right. Let's, uh, what does this do? Summoning pools. In each area, you may find some martyr season. Okay, cool. Small golden giffy. There's a guy on a horse. Um, let's try to fight the guy on the horse. I feel like we can do it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no, no, oh boy, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. You died. I'm gonna have a death counter in the corner. That's how many times I'm gonna die throughout this series. Oh man, that was uh... a. <laughs> he picked me off pretty fast. Uh. Death. Cool. 
Let's not die. I think I think I can take him again. So let's just not die next time. But he wasn't too difficult. It's really the horse that we have to worry about because he's he's fast. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay, we need the... No, no, no. Come add another one to the death counter. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we might want to come back to him a little later when I've upgraded my everything. Uh, so I do know that that church-looking building has something, so I think we might go over there. Um. Yeah, let's go over to this church building. Um, this thing will give me money. I'm sorry, PETA. But, uh, this is all good stuff for crafting. Uh, the early game is a lot of this. <laughs> but, uh, still. Uh, I think there's another animal will take him out. Oh, uh, but yeah, this church should, should looking building. It's not necessarily a church, but should have another. Oh, it is a church. I was right. Well, hey, look at that. We'll touch grace here. Always good to touch grace. You don't ever want to not. Oh, what's over here? Oh, there's a guy. We'll see what this guy has. Smithing. I uh, don't don't think I have enough for that. Mm. This is true. I don't really want to kill you. Oh, you out? Oh, you're a merchant. Okay. Looks like a lot of good, expensive stuff that I don't have the money for. So we'll come back. Uh, there is one area I want to go through that I did on my first playthrough. If I can scale this dang wall, uh, that I went on my first playthrough. It's a little dungeon area. There's like a really funny cat boss that I want to fight again because he was kind of cool. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Let's take a minute to admire this beautiful world. I mean, they really knocked themselves out. Um, oh, here's some stuff we can pick up. Ruin fragments. I bet these will be worth a lot. Oh, finally, some enemies. Let's do what Souls games are like and uh, defeat the enemies. Uh, these zombie looking dudes are kind of scary though. So I guess it's a good thing we're taking them out. Definitely don't want scary looking guys in here. But yeah, let's, let's take them out. Vanquishing enemy groups. Oh, sweet. Ruin fragment. Very nice. Yeah, here it is. It's like a tomb. Materials. That's good to have. Good to have. Good to have. Grab these mushrooms. And yeah, this is like a, like a tomb. Like a catacomb. I don't know. I'm thinking Skyrim when I'm uh, doing this kind of area. But there is a, there's a site of grace. So I think we'll explore down here a bit. Oh, I think that would be kind of fun. What does this guy have to say? Dot, dot, dot. Poor, a proper death means returning to the, oh, okay. He's telling me how legends die. Oh, okay, okay. You are uh, a character. Ooh. Okay, it's a square to I really don't like you. Why did I do that? There we go. Took him out. Took him out. Nice, nice. I am going to try and root. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but it looks like it's worth a lot of money. Other than that, 
oh, there's there's got to be like a guy in here or something. Oh, a grave clover. Uh, so yeah, there is a. Oh, cool! I can use that. But this door is locked. I have fought this boss, but the switch should be down here. There are more enemies to be careful of. These guys are brutal. Oh gosh. Ah. Here we go, took him out. There's another one, I saw another one. Oh, there he is, okay. Okay, we got him. I don't think there's any others, please no. Okay. <laughs> I get very stressed out when there's enemies around here. Uh, I don't, I don't like them. Ah, okay. Uh, you are an enemy. I do not have any ranged attacks like my samurai did. So I don't know if I can do an air attack. All right, took him out. Easy peasy. I should not have gone with the samurai in my main playthrough, but that's all right. We learn from not burning to death. We are very low on health. <sighs> All right. Uh, this room, I believe I can take this out. There we go. Okay. Prattling plate. Hello. Very nice. No, 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 no. You know, haha. <laughs> Only have limited health. We're gonna go right when this fire is done. There we go. Come on, run, run, run. Okay. We made it. Uh, I'm going to immediately stop this thing from existing. There are enemies in this room. Right there on the wall. Looking all spooky. I hope there are, oh yeah, there's one in the corner. Let's take him out. Because I don't feel like getting jump scared today. There's another one over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Um, um, um. Huh. Get out of the way menu. <laughs> Please don't kill me. 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 I need to take a breather. Stress. Do I have inventory? Okay. Do I have anything I can use to heal? Nope, I wasted that. Uh, so I have like a sliver of health, which I'm going to be the first to admit is not good. So I am going to run, I'm, I'm running back to that site of grace so I can like heal up. Uh, it does mean all the enemies respawn, but that um, the fire pillars should not respawn. Should. Uh, <laughs> At this moment, I don't know. Do I just like touch it or do I have to rest? I have to rest, okay. That's all right. Everything should be filled up. Okay, yeah, we're good here. The enemies will have respawned, but honestly, I think I can just run past them. I don't think I need to fight them. As long as the fire is gone, I'm good. Yeah, the fire's gone, we're good, we're good. We just blast over to the next area, climb. Oh, uh, there is a guy at the top of the ladder. I, I've had the benefit of playing this certain dungeon beforehand, 
Uh, most of the videos afterwards should be a completely new experience. Other than that, uh, I mean, I guess it kind of helps that I've, I know what's going on. It makes it a little more entertaining for you guys. So I'm not completely lost because I remember when I first played, uh, I was completely lost and I had no idea what was going on. It took me like a week to get through this one dungeon and that's not fun for you guys. At least I hope it's not. If you guys want to see that kind of content, you got to go somewhere else. But uh, let's take you out. Ooh, critical hit. I'm liking it. Nope. Okay. Acquired that. Pillage these remains. Noble ashes. Very nice. There should be like a lever or a button around here that does something. Read message. No hidden path ahead, therefore. Oh, no. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there should be a lever around here. A lever or a button or a something I can hit. You know what? I tell you what, it's probably down here by where all the monsters were. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> uh, add that to the death counter. Uh, one of the worst parts about this game is that when you die, you lose all your money and stuff. So I have to quickly run down and get it all before uh, before it either A despawns and before this video ends. Oh, that's where the level is. Le lever is that statue. Okay, okay, okay. I know what's going on. <laughs> I thought, I thought I knew what was going on beforehand, but I guess not. We are going to get my remains. What What is it called? Retrieve Lost Ruins. We're going to get that. We have all my money back. We're going to hit the lever, and I think we're going to end the video. Save the boss fight for next video. Got to gotta get you guys to come back somehow. Right, okay. So... No, not, not, no. Please no, please no, just no, just no, just no. Refill on health. It's the, it's the statue. I know it's that statue at the top of the banister. That's where the lever for the boss is. Blood loss. No, why? What are you doing awake down here? No. Okay. Ha. Oh. Stressful game, stressful game. Other than that. Yeah, okay. So what I have to do is jump down here. There it is. See, I was right. We're going to pick this little monster off first. They don't feel like getting jumped bum rushed while I'm pulling this lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! Oh. It is spooky. Uh, and yeah, the boss door should be open. Yep, there it is. Um, right in front of here is where the boss is. This is where we are going to end our video. I hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but I gotta get views somehow. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed me playing through Elden Ring as our favorite reformed rabbi, Bill Clinton, I hope you enjoyed. Honestly, I really like this game. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the subscribe button, uh, slap, the, slap the comments. I wanna hear what you think about this game. Ring the notification bell so you can be notified when part two and many more of my videos come out. That'll do it for me for now. 
I hope you guys have a legendary day.